Hey, Steve. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. No, I can talk. I'm not in a movie. Yeah, oh, oh, she died. Yeah. No. No, don't be sorry. I didn't even like her. We were gonna get a divorce anyway. But guess who got the house and the kids? Yeah. Me. Listen, bud. Okay, you gotta turn hey, on your phone. I'm trying to... I'm on the phone. Okay? I'm trying to talk. I hate when people do that. Ridiculous. Give me that. Give me that. No phones. Please silence your cell phone for the duration of the movie. No, seriously, Ryan, turn off the phone. Now. Odysseus, the man, the myth, and the legend. The story of Odysseus is an ancient one, one that has been told thousands of times. It is an epic tale of heartbreak and loss as the man Odysseus takes a ten-year journey on his struggle home. This story is filled with heroes and gods, but what if these Greek gods were not gods? They were not divine beings. Instead, they were extraterrestrial beings who came down and influenced the events of history to the point of today, here on the History Channel. In Homer's The Odyssey, Homer makes no reference at all in his story that aliens were not in the story. Certainly, this could be a true encounter that aliens were, were possibly in the events that occurred. The aliens left many clues that they were, in fact, at the events of when Odysseus came home from the Battle of Troy. It shows on page 155, you may want to take out your books to circle these, in all lowercase letters, at the top of the page, A, followed by an L, I, E, N, and S. Coincidence? I don't think so. Here, clearly shown, is a map of the areas Odysseus and his crew traveled to. The dots in red represent the places that Odysseus went to. But, if we connect these dots, does it at all represent some kind of alien figure? Were the aliens trying to send us a message about what happened during the journey? Was Elpenor on the island of Circe? Was he really drunk? And is that how he fell and broke his neck? Was he, was there something else there? Was there something else that caused him to fall? Something mysterious, something dark and dangerous. Something not from this world. An alien, perhaps? Wow, these views are incredible. I love Stracy's Islands. This is actually a pretty nice place. Hmm, what was that? Ah, nothing. I, you know, I can get used to this island. I mean, the pig thing was a bit weird, but what was that? I mean, Odysseus seems to like it. He never leaves Circe's house. What was that? Man, that's weird. It's, it's, it feels like there's something out there. I get the chills. Oh, ah! Oh, no! 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 In the Odyssey, Homer writes that Odysseus and his men use a bag of winds to get home. To Ithaca! Now, can a bag of winds be created? Can someone harvest winds in a bag? See, I don't think this is likely. I think the more likely solution here is that Odysseus used aliens to get home. Home to Ithaca, at last. Do it.
Quick alien, push! I know how much you're enjoying this film, but we need to take a small break. Here's a good commercial. It's the thrill of one more kill, the last one to fall. Who we'll never sacrifice their will? Don't ever look back on the world closing in. Be on the attack with your will. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed Chris Butte's 2009 Doritos commercial. Let's get right back where we left off. You're watching the History Channel. Archaeologists have found new studies showing alien footprints. There have been many, uh, many new studies showing alien tracks that aren't human-like. Bigger than human feet. Aliens, possibly? Let's take a look at some of the videos in the field. Hello, I'm here with my assistant, Dr. Smith, and we believe that we have found conclusive evidence of aliens. Odysseus had many campsites, and here, in one of his campsites on the island of Lotus Eaters, we notice an alien footprint. Notice the distinct shape between it. Theirs is much larger than my footprint. We do believe that we have found conclusive evidence of aliens traveling with Odysseus. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. After the Phoeacians helped Odysseus return to his home of Ithaca, their boat was turned to stone right outside of their port. Now, the question that we have to ask ourselves is, was this the work of Greek gods? Or is this the work of aliens? You know, I'm really glad we helped Odysseus get out. He really deserved that. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just, you know, did you do a good deed and he helps you out, you know, you had a big party and everything. I know something's good bound to happen. It's just karma. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, he's not a very lucky dude. No. Uh, uh, what's happened now? Is it home? Is some guy trying to kill him or something? Something like that. Oh my god, it's an alien! Stone Ray! Ah, dude, he's turning the boat into stone! We're not leaving this boat. No, I'm leaving the boat. I'll tie up. He's gonna tie me to the boat. The boat is sinking. I love this boat. I don't like it. In this episode of the History Channel, we've shown ironclad evidence that aliens were in fact present at the time of Odysseus in the Odyssey. No joke. Thank you for tuning into the History Channel. Stick around for more episodes.